Hello people of the web, it's me DTPK and today I'm going to be teaching you how to export a SketchUp model into UDK. This is actually really easy, like so, probably ain't going to be a very long tutorial. Okay then, so let's get to this. What you want to do is you want to get your model into SketchUp, then you want to hit edit, select all, I don't, then you just hit pretty much like the Minecraft video, you keep hitting explode until you can't. This one's already done, so I don't have to do that step, I guess. Next thing you want to do is hit File, Export, 3D Model, then go to your desktop, and save it and name it. Okay, bros, the next step is you have to have Blender again. So let me open up Blender. Wow, my computer is really on slow today. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now you can delete everything here. We don't need it. We're only using Blender to export the file. Now what you want to do is you want to File, Import, Clidia DAE. Now navigate to where you saved your SketchUp file and hit Import. You might not see anything at first. That's normal. Just hit Select and hit select, so deselect all again to select everything then you pretty much just hit S I believe, yeah S and scale it down into view I'm gonna make mine pretty big just as long as it's in your viewfinder it will go in there so this should be fine now what you want to do is you want to hit file export now we want to do I believe Autodesk file. Then you save it where you want to save it. I'm saving on my desktop. I'm gonna name it Dragon uh, to UDK or something. I hit export. This shouldn't take very long, just like the other thing. Oh, I don't know what kind of thing being there. Whatever. Now you can just quit that. Now there's your FBX file. That's what we need to put in the. UDK and that's just very simple. It's just pretty much drag and drop. Let's open up UDK, put it in there. Here I'm gonna pause this and let it Okay, I'm back. UDK is just about done loading. Okay. I actually managed to get my map to save from the last video, so I'm going to open up that tutorial place and import this model in there. Okay, now we can close that. Pretty much just hit all assets, clear your entry list. Then all you do down here is hit import. Now navigate to the file you want to import, the thing we exported. Double click it. Name your package like Dragon or something. Anything. You name it anything really. Oh, this is where you set your things like textures, materials. Like if you want it to be textured or if you want it to be a skeletal mesh where you can actually have it as like a character. <clears throat> Sorry, I have some of my throat there. Okay, now you want to do is hit OK. Oh, okay, you have to make sure there are no spaces. I forgot about that. Now you hit OK. If it gives you a warning, it should go through anyway. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, now it should pop up right in the list here. Yep, there it is. Now let's go and put this right on top of the building. I'm going to make it look epic. I drag my light up a bit too so I can see it. Now you just go and you might need to scale it. Like it's better to scale it in um, Blender first because then it will work all the time. Okay, so there's a dragon. I'm gonna actually move this light up, I believe, so I can see it. 
boom boom now I'm gonna scale it yeah you might get really weird looking shadows on it at first but that's normal just move your light to where you don't see any shadows now let's build this and see how it looks oh yeah like when you import it it's not gonna have any collisions so if you were to like try to like walk into it you'll just walk right through it yeah I got rid of the sky dome so we'll these so we'll build quicker okay oh, thought you were done there bro why'd you lie to me okay give that a second yeah there we go it did finish okay I'll show you what I mean by walking into it yeah this ain't the best dragon I made in UDK but it's there yeah see how you just walk right through it let me just yeah I want to see how it looks on the building real quick I might use it in my game right now yeah that looks cool okay now if you want to actually make it collision you have to like hit simplify mesh I believe yeah simplify mesh and you click collision and these are numbers like this is the simplest collision which is like a box pretty much around it and you hit it and it won't be exact this is the more complex one like where you can actually hit certain shapes and things I'm gonna use the 10 or 18 I think and yeah I'm gonna use the 18 now I'm gonna hit simplify now I might turn wireframe on to show you the collision. See that's the whoop. Okay, there we go. That's the 18 like wireframe collision. Now watch what happens when we go to 26. Yes. See how it changed? You can make it even more by having like a custom one, but you can mess with that. Now pretty much after you're done editing this, I believe all you do is hit. Yeah, all you do is hit the X up here and then there you go I don't think you have to build in order to have it change it should automatically change yeah my light went out yeah see how I'm running into it now hopefully you can see it I must have moved the light when I did that here I'll quickly build the lighting so I got plenty of time Yeah, in the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to set fractures on certain objects. So, like, if you were to, like, let's say make a custom weapon or use one of the default UDK weapons, you can actually destroy the object. Right now, you can't destroy this. You can just, like, run into it and things. You can, like, also with the collision tool, you also make it so you can, like, push them around and things. But this one's set for fixed. But... Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. DTPK signing off.